Thanks to Samsung for sponsoring today's video. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. Now in today's day and age, a lot of us are working from home and your desktop or PC setup has become more and more important. Well today we're gonna to be talking about the Samsung M7 Smart Monitor. This is one of the craziest monitors I've seen to date because it can do way, way more than you'd expect. Honestly, this is what every monitor should be like. This is a 32 inch monitor with really small bezels. Now, you can't really adjust much in the back. I think you can adjust the tilt and you can adjust it pretty well, uh, but you can't do any side turns or anything like that. So this is pretty much what you get and you can't bring it up or down. But for the most part, it's a pretty large monitor. I think it looks really clean. Now in terms of specs, what you're getting with this guy is of course a 4K display. Now 4K is becoming the standard. There's lots of content in 4K now. And we usually think about 4K for televisions, but it's actually really nice to have when it comes to your monitor as well. That real estate, especially with a 32 inch display here, is actually pretty nice. Now, of course, this also has HDR10, but it also has a few things that you wouldn't expect to find on a monitor. And I'm talking about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, of course, some USB ports, like I think it has three USB A's and one USB Type-C. So you have access to a lot of stuff here. Now you might be wondering, why does this need Wi-Fi, right? Well, guys, let me tell you. This thing is running Samsung's Tizen OS. And if you've got a Samsung TV, you might notice that the interface looks just like what you get on the televisions. You get access to things like applications, uh, so you can watch like Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, whatever it is. All those streaming applications, you have access to them right from the monitor. Now this is kind of cool because with the Wi-Fi and access to these apps, you don't need to have a computer running. If you've got this in like a nice central location in the home, you can just use the remote to pretty much treat this thing like a television. You can throw on YouTube without having to go on your computer. You can sit back. Pretty much anyone can go ahead and watch something on the monitor. And that's nice, because if you've got like a work computer hooked up to it, you don't want someone playing around and watching shows on your work computer. You can go ahead and do it right from the monitor just using the remote. They're pretty much running like two separate devices, which is awesome. A lot of monitors, well, almost all monitors, pretty much all monitors except for this one, for, to my knowledge, you pretty much just plug in what you need to plug into them and that's where their usefulness stops. Uh, this one can be used as a standalone device. If you don't even have like a whole computer setup, you can put this somewhere, kind of treat it like a TV, and when you're ready to do work, plug in like your laptop to it. That kind of flexibility is really, really cool. Now, it actually doesn't just stop there. You can connect so many things to this monitor, you guys. Now, obviously, we can have like a PC over here hooked up to it, use it like you would any other monitor, but you can also do a few other things. And of course, with this being a Samsung device, you know there's gonna be some extra functionality with Samsung products. So if you've got like a Galaxy device, I have the S21 Ultra over here. So if I wanted to go ahead and hook up to this thing, there's actually a few different ways you can do that. You can of course throw on Samsung DeX. Now a lot of us are familiar with Samsung DeX, but for those of you who aren't, Samsung DeX basically allows you to have pretty much a computer interface without having to connect any wires to your monitor. So if I jump into DeX on my phone, I can pull up my TV, start now. TV. <laughs> it's my monitor, it feels like a TV, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, you guys can see right here, we've got DeX running on this all wirelessly. And if I wanna go ahead and make my phone a touchpad, I can do that and then I'm controlling the mouse on my screen over here. So I can go into the Play Store. I can pretty much do anything. Now, this is cool because you can essentially have, just like your brand new Galaxy S21 Ultra or whatever Galaxy device you may have, you got this monitor and you pretty much have a computer. You could even attach a Bluetooth keyboard to it so that you can go ahead and type and do whatever you want. Use it like a real computer. That kind of functionality is nice, especially when you pay a premium for one of these kind of devices, you wanna take advantage of all the power that these phones have. Pairing it with a monitor like this is just kind of cool because it means you don't need something like this guy over here. And if you want an easier way to get into Samsung DeX, you can actually just, and it took me a little bit to find this guys, but you can go into source, and then when you go all the way to the right, you see remote access, and you can pin that right to the bottom of the screen if you want. But when you have remote access, 
you can go ahead and just go into Samsung DeX right from here. It'll send a little notification straight over to your phone once you select it. And then you can just hit like start now. Now there's this other cool feature called tap view. So let's say you're watching, I don't know, your favorite YouTuber or something, right? You can actually just take your phone and bring it over to the monitor, tap it on the corner, and then you'll see a little something pop up. Hit start now. And what's gonna happen is, it's going to start streaming the content right from your phone straight over to your device. And boom, you got your boy Judd streaming on the big screen. All it took was a simple tap. I think that's pretty cool. And let's say you're done with that and you just wanna stream whatever's on your phone straight to your monitor, you can go ahead and do that as well. So you have that kind of functionality, you have the ability to just pretty much access all parts of your phone right on the monitor. Now, so this is a cool way to access like a computer setup without having to have an actual PC here. Uh, but remote access also gives you access to, <laughs> you like that? Remote no. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but remote access also gives you access to Office 365. So when you jump into here, what it does is basically opens Office 365 and it does that all through the cloud. So you don't need a phone, you don't need any extra devices, just the monitor itself. And if you, of course, you probably want to have a keyboard, whether that's through USB or Bluetooth and a mouse to make the full use of it. And when you jump into Office 365, this is basically like the web version of it. So everything is saved to the cloud. All your documents are already here. And when you jump into it, you get access to all of the Microsoft 365 applications. So PowerPoint, Word, Outlook, all that stuff. You can just do it right from the monitor. So this monitor is all about productivity, whether you're connecting it to your Galaxy device or even your PC, you can do pretty much anything that you want on it. But what's also cool is that it's not just for Galaxy devices or PCs, it even works with Macs and iOS devices, thanks to AirPlay. Now on Mac devices, you can actually just jump into the system preferences. And from here, you can go to AirPlay displays and I'm gonna hit Sam Samsung M7 and you guys can see pretty easily, it's already on the other screen. So we have access to a second display without connecting anything and it works very quickly. So if I wanted to take this and just like drag it over, you guys can see it's right over here. Now this would make more sense if it were like right next to it, but I'm just showing you guys the capability here. And because it does have AirPlay, you can pull out like your iPad or something. And let me show you guys what you can do here. And you can go from watching something on your iPad, just hitting the AirPlay button over here and boom, type in the code and boom. Right now you are streaming from your iPad right over to the monitor. Now this is kind of cool. like. How many devices have we just connected to this monitor? And you don't even need a device if you don't want to. I think that's like some of the coolest stuff I've seen on an external display like this. Just having that functionality working with whatever ecosystem you may be a part of. You have a monitor here that'll pretty much work with it. I'm gonna get. You gonna get this, Carl? Okay, okay. Now I don't even think we talked about this yet, but as you can hear, it has built-in speakers. And this actually gets pretty loud too. Looked really minimal, really clean. I think these also- Is, is that louder low. than me? Yeah. It's, louder than me. Yes. it's louder than me, it's louder than me. But I do think the speakers on this are pretty decent. You can pretty much hear everything you need to really well. Doesn't have like a ton of bass or anything. You definitely don't expect bass on a monitor, uh, but it does get the job done. So I like, oh, and check this out guys. So. Right now, we just got a notification that the oven has just finished with the food. That's kind of cool because this has Samsung smart things built into it. We actually have Samsung appliances in our home. You guys might know that already. So whenever we're done cooking food, it'll have a little notification that pops up like the food is done so you can go grab your stuff. Those are like some nice little bonuses if you happen to be in the Samsung ecosystem. You get cool little things like notifications when food is done or other stuff that happens to deal with smart things. Now, I know we already talked about this being a 32 inch monitor, but I gotta say, it is nice to have a big display like this so that you can have real estate to do just about anything that you want. You guys can see, I have like a bunch of windows open over here and none of them feel like they're too small. 
Uh, so having a nice 32 inch display, it's great for just from a real estate perspective, or if you just wanna have like a nice big screen to do whatever it is that you're doing. And if you wanna use this monitor for more than just being a PC monitor, which I think you would want to considering that all that this thing can do, uh, if you're gonna watch stuff like Netflix and YouTube and all of that, you're definitely gonna want a bigger display so that it can feel a bit more natural when you're watching your shows. Using this is definitely enjoyable. Uh, honestly, I feel like this is an easy recommendation. This thing costs $400, but if you're talking about quality in terms of having a 4K monitor that has all of these features, I think that's a solid buy. Carl, what, what, what do you think? You think 400 bucks? I'm it's really solid for this because the amount of things that you could do on it, connect your phone and everything, I'm definitely in it for the house. Okay, reviews by Carl. <laughs> <laughs> well, just aside, considering the fact that so many of us are now working from home, uh, this kind of setup is really important for a lot of people. And it's nice to be able to do a lot more than just connect it to your computer and that be the end of it. You get a nice quality 4K display, have access to all the different things. You can treat it like a TV, and you can even use it as a second monitor, a dual monitor, without needing to plug anything in if you wanna keep it as a nice, clean setup. So much versatility here. Samsung did a really good job, and this is why I think all monitors should really work the way this does. Uh, but that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you are going to upgrade like your space, your office setup, I think this is one of the easiest monitors to recommend. And of course, I'll have it linked down below in the description for you guys to check it out. If you guys wanna see like a setup made out of this, you want some like nice setup ideas, let me know with a comment down below. Maybe I'll throw something together to get you guys going in the right direction. Uh, but till the next video, guys, it's your average consumer. Peace. And there goes Ari.